Yeah, he's a Muslim. They don't believe him. Yeah. The, the, the Salafi, the, the tradition, I don't want to get into it, I'm just listening. They don't believe him. They yes. distinguish between the creation. And yes, it has to be, because it has to be distinguished. Otherwise, Otherwise, God is mixed. And God has mentioned about himself in the Quran, Ar-Rahman wa al istawa that the Rahman is above his throne, the way that befits his majesty and glory. That's how it is. He has created us. He doesn't need to be part of us. He doesn't need to be mixed with us. We are not part of him, and that's how. We are created by him, yeah? And he is surrounding us with his blessing, with his power, with his, uh, with his mercy, with his ability. He is surrounding us with this, no problem. But he is not mixed with us. So that's why there is two sides. They said either God has created us and then he mixed with us, or we are can't, and that's again, that's totally contradiction. As if he's mixed, then he will be equivalent and equal to us. Yeah? That's why it's not, this is not the case. It can't be. That's why those people who are being punished in the hellfire, he's punishing who? Punishing himself. Hell is not, hell is not. Yeah, that's, that's for you because we, we, we have enough, we have enough evidence to know that there is. There is a punishment, as there is, there is a reward, the same there is a punishment. God cannot destroy part of himself. That's why, that, that's why we're not part of him. We are part of him. Based on, based, this, based, on, based on your analogy, which is not. That's why, you, as I said to you, you, your name is David as far as I remember, yeah? Chris. Chris. Chris, you came a long way, which is good. Which is good, you became monotheist a bit. Yeah? No problem, you came a long way. You used to be Trinitarian in the past. You came a long way to, be, to accept that there is Unitarian, to accept there is one God, which is good. And you don't believe the, the, in the Trinity and all of these things. At the same time, there is further step, which is to, sub, to submit to this one God the way that God wants from us. Not the way that you think, not the way that he thinks, the way that God wants from us. Okay, and I would say that we can't submit to God in this current state that we're in. Okay, but God has said as well in many places that we are submitting to him. Willingly or unwillingly? Willingly by submitting our will to his will and unwillingly that by whatever happens in this universe, whether we like it or whether we don't like it, it happens by the will of God. Yeah? So that's why But God loves from us to submit to him willingly to follow his religion and to follow his faith. The faith in him, to believe in him and to believe and to follow the guidance of his prophets and messengers. Peace be upon all of them. That's what God wants from us. It's a simple and a straightforward concept which you already kind of inclined to. Just accept that as it is. And believe me, you will have the best feeling that at least you know where you stand. You know you are only servant of God. You are serving God. You follow the guidance of God by submitting your will to His will. As simple as that. Why don't you accept this? You won't and know His will until He shows it to you in your heart. Listen, He already showed enough to you you talking to me now that shows enough that he exists that shows enough he still even though you didn't submit your will to his will and yet he keep providing for you yet he keep taking care of you yet he's doing all of these things for you and yet what's more than that what's more I than can't that to accept show? Islam when it talks about hellfire like that no. listen you need to know that God is just yeah God is just Meaning those criminals, yeah, those who it, commit and, crimes. And, and guess what? You know, he's, you know, do you know and what, he's merciful, right. but he is just you as well. What, do you know what is just? I'll tell you what is just. Just is for that punishment to eventually end. It's not just for that punishment to go on forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. And ever. Now it depends. Who decides? You or God? Uh, that's obvious. Who decides? You or God? Obviously, God decides. Okay, so he decided, said in the Quran clearly, Inna Allah, la Allah will never pardon and forgive associated with him partners. And will forgive anything below that. Anything, whatever crime that you have committed could be forgiven, except if you associate with God partner. It will be never forgiven. That's how it is. So God made a clear statement. This is what I want from you, to submit to me willingly, fully, and as well, not associate with me partners. That's as simple as that. If you accepted this, then you're gonna gain salvation in the hereafter. Yeah? If you don't accept this, it is your choice, but don't blame no one but yourself in the hereafter. What will happen? You see the point, Chris? So that's why God decided already and told us. Just accept Islam as it is. And trust me, it is so simple and straightforward. That's why it reminds you, it reminds you that you are here 
you are here for a certain period of time. Eventually, all of us are going to die. We're going to die. And our deed will be presented to us. And eventually, you know, this gathering, this time, this moment that we are, it will be, re it will be recalled on that day. And it will be said, as the disbeliever will say, I wish I have went to the messengers of Allah. I went with the, what they have, what they have advised. So that the message came to you. And it says to you clearly, as I said to you, we believe in one God. We believe in all the prophets of God. We believe in Jesus, peace be upon him, to be a prophet and messenger of God. Honorable you don't prophet. believe what Jesus said. We believe what he, the no, truth, what says the truly said. What Jesus said the kingdom of God is within you. You don't believe that. Okay, one second. I will tell you something. I need to know if Jesus has said what he said, how can I use ambiguous statement all over the place by ambiguous people? No one knows who has said that what, he, what they have said. And you want it, it just only just as a matter of is a matter of, uh, of, of of belief rather than to be a matter of a true faith based on evidence. But that's why I said, that's why I said the, the kingdom of God is like a mustard seed. The kingdom of God is like a mustard seed. It grows, and it, when it grows, it grows into a tree. If you want, if if that meant, <laughs> listen, that's vague. If it meant, that's vague. If it meant about faith, no problem. I will understand it. That this, yes. If you yeah. take about. We, it was said as well, if the, if the faith of God, it's, if it was in, attached okay, to the heart. What is faith? What is faith? What is faith? faith basically, start from submitting our will to the will of God. That starts with this. By saying, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu Muhammad Rasulullah. And to believe what God has revealed. We believe in everything. I will tell you something. No one on earth except Muslims, we say this. We believe in every single word that Jesus has said. Every single word that Jesus has you said. Can't believe it. No, I believe. You don't. I will. I do. <laughs> do you know why? Oh, you don't, you, listen, listen. You don't know what he said. One you second, one second. Regardless, if I know what he said, if or I don't know what he said, I believe in every single statement that Jesus has said. Do you know why? Do you know why? Because Allah protected the prophets and messengers. They will never lie about God. They will never lie about God. So they will say the truth about God. So that's why we believe what they have said. But the issue, the issue is, I don't accept you know the uh, the uh, the standard of the christian about what jesus said about 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 god i don't accept that that's something totally different from what jesus truly said for example things and that's why the islam and make it made it very clear and very and very obvious that how islam how the quran is protected how the quran is preserved and how as well what the quran has said about about jesus so jesus he said to his people worship my lord yeah the world that has created me and you, that's something confirmed in Islam. As well, Jesus said, I'm only a man. That's confirmed in the Quran. Jesus said, follow, follow the guidance of the prophets and messengers, including himself. I accept this. No, I have no problem. He didn't say that. Do you know what he said? He said, everybody that came before me is a thief, a thief and a liar. That is what the, what the Christian says. This is the standard of the Christian. We we'll never say we will never say Jesus that, that has said such statement because that before him there used to be prophets and messengers came before him and they will never lie. So that's our standard. You see here the Christian they literally deluded you and they literally distorted and changed. That's why you don't find any preserved copy of the Bible. The earliest one. So that's why it's vague, ambiguous. No one knows. No one knows who said what, what he has said. Truly, but so we I believe. Know, I know he did. The, say, I know he did say that the teacher of the kingdom of God is inside him. Meaning, if you if you meant by faith, I will accept this. But what is faith? What is faith? Again, I I answered you, you to believe in God, to believe in God in your heart. No, it's, you Listen, know, you know, it's no good. Iman, Iman for us believe, is three things. Believe is no good. All right, believe let me no let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. What we say about as faith, as belief. Firstly, <laughs> to believe in the heart. To say with a tongue and to implement with the limbs. That is faith in Islam. That is the faith. First, you need to believe to start in the heart that you accept and you believe this. And Allah Azza confirmed this in the Quran that firstly to believe in Allah. 
to believe in his angels, to believe in his revelations, the, the, that he, the books that he has revealed down, to believe in his prophets and messengers, and to believe in the last day, and to believe in the pre decree destination, the good and the bad. So we these believe things, this. These things are just things that you don't know is going to happen. You don't know. Yeah, but things, yeah, it's going to, but this is from Allah, that's how it is. No. When God showed me himself, I was in a state of knowing. No, you were sleeping, you said. Come on, Chris. You were sleeping, you never sleeping, know. But I won't, but, but as. Can you describe me? Can you describe me God? Don't you, don't, don't you saw in your dream? God. Describe, give me okay. some description. I didn't physically see God. So you didn't see God? No, hold on. But I, it wasn't a dream. Because what happened Okay, to suppose not a dream. What did I you see? In, I, okay, when I was, I'll, I'll tell you what happened. I was sleeping in a deep sleep. Okay. And then I felt a presence come up on me. Yeah. From, wi from within me, by the way. From within me. And then I felt like I was, I surrendered into it. And then I saw, uh, my eyes were still shut. I, I woke up when this presence came upon me, but my eyes were still shut. And you couldn't move your hands? No, I couldn't move. I couldn't you couldn't move. move your hands? I couldn't move. Okay. You could? Yeah, I could still, I couldn't were move. Were you able to open your eyes at that time? I, I, would, I, would, I would have been able to, but I wouldn't. You, but I, you were not able to open I said I would have been able to, but, but I was so focused on, on this thing. What uh, is this thing? Well, I'll tell you. So what happened was this... Was, presence came upon me and then um, I, I surrendered into it and then all of a sudden even though my eyes were still shut I could see I could see this big light and I saw something standing in front of me and all of a sudden I was I was receiving this love and this joy and this peace and this truth and wisdom and I was in a state of knowing knowing not just believing or, or trusting I was in a state of knowing and that that essence, which is love, which is God's love and His joy and His peace, His essence was in me and in everything, and to a, to a point where 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 you can say where you can say I am, okay. not just God but you as well. I am. Okay. Can and, I can and, I answer? And and, and 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 the closest thing that I could that I could I could give you, according to Islam, is even Arabic. Even Arabic. He, he's the one I would say. Which is out, out of the fold of Islam. According to, according to Muslim, yeah. Yes, yeah. majority of the scholars of Islam. Let me answer you. Listen, to make it easier for you, part of God's, uh, uh, you could say, uh, characteristics that Laysa Kamithil Hishay, nothing similar to him. Nothing similar to him. Nothing. When you say you saw light, the light is not similar to God. Light is not equal God. Not similar to God. The light is a creation of God. Not similar to God. Okay. So what you saw, it's something. Not God. So what you saw, and wanted to convince you on the truth, that on this is the truth, which is not. For example, there is a, a pious man during a pious man in the past, he was worshipping. He was a devoted person who was worshipping the night prayer. While he was worshipping the night prayer, worshipping literally, and it was, this is the documented, yeah? He was worshipping and praying to God, Muslim. So suddenly, on the corner of the room, while he was reading Quran or something, on the corner of the room, a light came, a massive light, as you mentioned, and came to him, yeah? And the light said to him, Oh my servant, I'm pleased with you. Uh, what you have done is sufficient. Things like that. And then he said, May Allah curses you. He said, May Allah curses you. He said, You are the devil. Because God will not imitate his creation. Meaning, God cannot come in a form of light. So my point is, According to you, anyway. not according to me. It's according to the Islamic narrative, basically. Okay, so that doesn't mean that the Islamic narrative is true. Because how, now do, here, how, do you, how do you deal with that? How do you deal with that? All, all the people, the mystics, or the, 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 the Sufis, the Christian mystics, uh, Hindu mystics, and all them people, not just them, but all the people that have near-death experiences, the people that have near-death experiences will say the same thing as the, as the mystics. And a lot of them, some of them are atheists, and, say, and they'll tell you the same thing. 
but I saw a light, and not only did I see a light, I was the light. Yeah, okay. So, again, it doesn't, Allah told us in the Quran, if you obey the majority of the people on earth, they're going to misguide you from the guidance of God. It doesn't matter what the people, it doesn't matter if many people or one or two or two million or two billion people they have, they have experienced So is that, what, is that what God does to you? Mean, no, wait, no. Second, no, no, one second. Yeah. That is, you're, saying, you're saying that's what God does to you when you're, when you're truly searching, when all these, all these people were truly searching God, all of them got to see. One second. God, firstly, we know if there is one God, yeah, which you accept, yeah. that means the path to this one God has to be one, correct? Meaning, there is no, I cannot be Hindu and being submitting to God. And at the same time, I cannot be Christian and submitting to God. And, and both of us were the same because we saw a light somewhere and the light came in from us. What and is then the we light? Can, what is the light? You, but your light that you described. You said there are some Hindus have happened to him. There are some atheists happens to them. There are some, you say, um, uh, so-called Muslims happens to them. And all of them, you said they are... They're, they're doing they the right the thing. Same, they say the same thing. My point that is, we are the light. We are one with the light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that means that means how how come the religion of God is not one? How come God will accept someone who's a Christian and he has the light in him? Someone who's Hindu worship a, a, a cow or whatever, and then he said the light is in him. And someone who's a, a atheist who's neglecting even the existence of God, and God will accept it. How come? Don't you think there's contradiction? So that's why if there is a way to God, it has to be one. No, I think that God can come to different people. God Listen, God already sent his message to different people. It's already been sent to many prophets and messengers. God has sent in every nation a messenger. It happened. The point is God cannot not necessarily will come himself in person to someone. You understand? So that's why you need to understand this. That's why if the concept of religion Otherwise, then if the religion is being dissolved, like what the people they call nowadays. Do you, were you born into Islam? Yeah, I was born into Islam. Then you're not seeking? No, I seek. <laughs> yeah, you're, are, you, are you talking about me? Yeah. How you judge? I mean, listen, Chris, you should be, I thought in the past, I mean, when we discuss a few things, you're a clever man, yeah? Okay. Don't be judgmental. That's because that's opposite, that's opposite to be clever when you judge people. Firstly, I'm only telling you in a I, I was born, I was born as a Muslim. I was taught in Islamic education. At the same time, I was doing my own research because I need to get affirmation of the faith that I'm in. Okay, what did you research? In terms of what? I searched, I, I searched all religion. All There's religions? A, all, all, all the existence ones, all the existence ones. Did you, did you search in the, did you even, does that include even the, even the mystics of each faith? I went, I, I went to the, I studied as well, I, I studied the Hinduism, for example. Have you heard, have you heard of mysticism? Which is which is the belief God is everywhere. The the deep the deeper the deep, the deeper deeper teaching them. like like Sufism. Yeah, like Sufism. Yeah, yeah. I, I I've studied them. Yeah, I studied them. That totally contradicts the. So the why truth. didn't you say? I don't know. Maybe you did, but didn't you say? Look, God, I don't know what's what's true. I want you to show me, and I don't, and I'm not one about. God was already. I already show. I, I already been. I already saw. I already saw what's enough. You understand. You need to understand. We, how how God, for example, when we supplicate to God, then God accepting our supplication. When we ask, God is helping. When we, we think, and God is a blessing that's surrounding us with His blessing. What's more than this? Why I need to see like like a tangible sign? What I what 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 I have is already enough. I'm I'm blessed with many things surrounding my, my life. This as a person, and as with many Muslims as well. The point is not necessarily you have to you have to see a light in order to be enlightened. Doesn't mean that, not necessarily. As I said to you, as you as you mentioned, someone who's Hindu, someone who's atheist, someone who's Buddhist, someone who's Sufi, as you mentioned, and all of them they believe in the same thing. What kind of religion is this? That means if God a consistent message. No, where not is, consistent where, message. Where, the where, consistent where? message came from all the prophets and messengers. Worship none no, but one God. Christianity, and, Islam, Judaism. The, I'm on about the, the surface level religion. Hinduism, Judaism, Christianity, Islam, all of that, they say something different. Whereas all the mystics from each faith, they say the same thing. So, so, things. so why? And even the, including, including the people that had near-death experiences, they say the same thing as what the mystics say. Again, that again contradicts the true faith. How there is true, if there is true God, there is true faith. What is the true faith then? The truth faith, the truth faith is that 
is the is the is the is the, is the knowledge and the love of the of, knowledge of, of the love of, of someone who saw who saw Krishna in his dream and he said, Oh, that's Krishna came to me in my dream and he said that's why that's the true and the love. Is that, is that true? He, and you say someone light came to you, someone who said I saw Jesus came to me. Someone to no someone like a mystic you know who what say, I think that is? You know what I think that is? I'm I think that's their personal thing when they believe in something like Hinduism or whatever. They'll say this person came to me. But do you know what I think that is? I think that's just an emanation of someone's mind thinking they saw something. But that's, what, that's what happened to you? No, I never saw something. I never saw anything. <coughs> you didn't saw anyone, but you saw something. I just saw a light. Yeah, that's how it is. That's why it's animation. It's not necessarily true. An animation from me, yeah. Yeah, but meaning, again, you see, you are basing, you are basically, you are basing and, and put your life and your religion based on a dream. You understand? So it's, it's a dream. What you saw is a dream. And by the way, even if it's not a dream, there are could be hallucination. Could be that. Could be different things. Could be could be shaitan. Could be shaitan. By the way, could be devil. No, no, no we'll, we'll, we'll do more than that. We'll we'll tempt people. Came people from a human being and 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 tempt well, people in different what? ways. I don't respect God. If I was searching with all my heart. And then God allowed me to get the seat when I was searching. Do you know why? Because, no, well, once I I, let me tell you something. But you were searching in the wrong direction. No, I wasn't. I was asking. I was, I was being by myself. I was being silent. And I was... And I was silent is not right. I was being silent, going by myself, praying, and asking, for, asking God for guidance. And I said, I didn't want to just... just just have any ideas about any of, of, of God in, in, from any books or anything like that. I said I'm not moving until you show me yourself because I'm sick of I'm sick of what uh, I'm sick of what people say about all these different things that people okay. say about you. Good. And I said I'm I want to know the truth. All right. And you're telling me that when I was really seeking after God, or instead God didn't God said you know what forget him. I'll, let, I'll send, send, I'll send Satan to, to, to see. Alright, let me, let, 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 I'm not saying this. I'm saying could be and could be all, all kind of thing. Could be your own mind, mindset saying well, to you I this. Can't do that, do you? No, no, not God, yourself. It's, it's, for example, by the way, even some people here, someone who have this mindset thinking about something too much to the extent, then they will start seeing things. They will start the same thing that they're thinking about it. So these things happen. My point is, you're already on that direction. Where, where, where we are saying to you, the truth, search here and look here and open your heart and mind here and then you will find the truth there. That's what we are saying. Yeah? I haven't found anything spectacular in the Quran. Have you read it? Like, for example, all these signs mentioned in the Quran, how come came, came like ambiguous, came from ambiguous source? All these signs, all these scientific miracles in the Quran, not just one, not two, not, not, not three, not four, M many of them in the Quran. All these historical facts mentioned in the Quran, all of these things came out of coincidence. All these prophecies that happened, testified by people, said that this happened and it happened. How it came as a coincidence? Apparently, if you go, if you, that's if you read uh, Muslim sources, but I'm sure if I, went, if I went to really dig deep in Islam, about what it claims, I can guarantee you. I can find people that say that say that say these things that the Quran claims is a load of nonsense. Okay, why we go far? Let's let's use our own analogy. Yeah, let's use. Okay, Quran confirms certain scientific facts, which is discovered recent recently. Yeah, in the last couple of hundred years, at most. And these scientific facts being revealed on the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him fourteen hundred years ago. Can you explain this? Explain. Tell me. You tell me. Have you been to the ocean? To the ocean? Yeah. Do you see an ocean? Have you been? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. See. Would anyone know what is going inside in deep inside in the ocean, deep inside? Would anyone know at that time, 1400 years ago? Would anyone know that deep in the ocean there, about some details that's happening there? Would anyone know? 1400 years ago. Tell me. I don't know. No, you know, there is nothing. Basically, it's only discovered recently. Again, when they start these submarines or whatever, they start going down and then they start to, to discover what's happening in the ocean. And then they discover what's going on there. Well, God is talking about these details in the Quran. A detail, for example, talking about a darkness in the ocean. Not any darkness. God could say it's a pitch dark, that's it, fine, it's finished. But God is talking about levels of darkness. Sorry, levels but, of I, darkness. Before you carry on, I wanted to just say to you, 
about you saying I might have been deceived by Satan? No, I'm not saying. I'm, I'm not saying you. My, I'm saying could be. Could be any okay. of these reasons. Then explain to me what when, when the Bible says, when you seek me with all of your heart, oh, you there. will find me. I'll accept it. <laughs> okay, for me, I don't take Bible as a source of knowledge. You don't believe that? No, 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 no. listen. I, you don't believe if you listen, seek God with listen, all your heart, listen, you'll find Listen, listen. I don't take the Bible as a source okay, of knowledge. The Bible, you understand? The Bible. But you, do, do you not do you not believe if you seek God with all of your heart, you'll find it? Heart and mind. There is mind. God give you this, not just emotion. Not you are just. We cannot base we our faith on emotion. No, 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 no. There's two things. We can't, we can't comprehend God with our own mind. Sorry. No, we're not talking comprehending God, but we could comprehend the signs of God with our mind. How? Again, that's what I was explaining what, to you. The Quran. Just by some of the things that are written down. No, 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 no. That's what my point is. Listen, there are two things. There are something what you call it scientific facts, things which is intellectually proven. Yeah? Okay, unless you say that. One second. Then the heart. So start with this, because we need to be convinced. We, God gave us this machine, which we call it between our ears here, yeah. Yeah, which is the brain, and behind our eyes, that machine, which is the brain, to analyze things. Yeah, analyze things on this earth. Not just this, even analyze our own existence. What are we doing here? The three questions. To analyze these three questions that always the, the human being in question. Where we came from? What are we doing here? Where are we going to go next? These three questions. These three questions. Where we came from? What are we doing here? Where are we going to go next? That's the question in the mind of every single person of us. And that's why it's Quran, these things with anyone with, with the feelings is not sufficient for you to discover this. It is sufficient for you to know there is God and we are here. We might we not give you the sufficient answer about what shall we do about uh, as long as we believe in his existence, we believe there is God. If there is no one, if, the, if you are in isolation of all knowledge, meaning you are you born, as soon as you're born, you will be thrown in a, desert, in a desert or in the middle of Ireland. You have no communication with no one, but you will be inclined to believe in one God. That's all. Yeah. But here, Quran came to answer this question and to prove that these answers came from God. It confirms it with with knowledge, with tangible knowledge, with the, with a proven knowledge, for you to use your mind to say this is true. Came it, it cannot be said by someone other than God. Then in that case, after that, you will open your heart to have the, to accept the faith. Do you understand? This is how it goes. So, mind and heart together, not just only emotions. No, it's mind like and heart. Say, like I said, your mind can't. can't no, the with. mind, the mind. No, your when, mind might like, like, might like a few things that are said in the book. Yeah. No, not like. Um, listen, <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen. But, but that doesn't mean it's true. I am. Listen, I'm mathematician. Do you understand what it means? I have, I did PhD in mathematics. Okay. Do you know what it means mathematician? Do you know? Okay. I take one plus one equal two. Yeah. Meaning, things has to be clear to me. Yeah. I I, I use my reasons to understand things. That's how it is. Not necessarily I need to use logic. But for me, even though that, we, of course, in my work and whatever, we use certain logical arguments, etc. But that's not my point. My point is, things have to make sense to me. Yeah? In order for me to accept it. So that's why you will put, your, you'll say, you'll say, okay, you will put your heart to say, yes, one plus one equal to two. Because you understand, because your mind analyzes this. Yeah, and okay. you understand this. Yeah. So the same thing, when you come, to this table, yeah. If I told you now, you have to believe that this table came together by itself, and these books printed itself by themselves, and the wording came structured. Therefore, the for language that you can read, you say this is nonsense. It can't happen because what? And you say I don't believe this. But when I told you we brought it here, we printed, we did it, then you'll understand. Okay, that's a logical thing, and that's something that's reason. You are I'm using your own reasoning to understand about. What are you doing here? The same thing for your own existence. You existed here because someone created you to be here on this earth. Now this someone, he has to have certain characteristics. All knowing, all powerful, has independent will. Yeah? These three things. So God is all powerful. God is all knowing, has independent will. So he has created us. What are we doing here? That's the question. Is to be grateful to this God. How? By submitting our will to his will. That's what Islam is teaching us again. And that goes smoothly and goes accordingly with what Islam is teaching.
what God has said, we will accept. What God has said, we should not accept. Now, how we how to prove that this book, which is the translation by the way, this is not the original one, this book or the Quran was revealed by God. How do I know now? How I need to, I need as well evidences for me to be to accept. Firstly, I need evidences that this book traced back all the way to Muhammad, peace be upon him. Yeah? So that's why we have enough sufficient evidences in the, in, in the Islamic and the Islamic teaching about the, what we call it the the chain of narrators goes all the way to Prophet Muhammad. Now I know, now Muhammad peace be upon him has said it. Now he has said it, he never claims that it came from him, he claims it came from God. Now that's why I analyze now, even though I was born as a Muslim, but I need to analyze, I need to understand. I had to open the book and I had to see what the Quran is saying. And then when I see these things, when I see these sophisticated examples, not some, not normal examples, sophisticated examples and miracles, and I will say it's facts, mentioned in the Quran 1400 years ago, impossible. Someone who is a literate man went to a cave, came out and he brought these things. It can't happen. It's impossible. And someone who lived in the Arab Peninsula, in the desert, will claim all of these things. Well, I, and I would say to you, if, if, a true, if really an angel came to Muhammad in the cave, he wouldn't, That's the done, first revelation, he wouldn't have done what he did to Muhammad. He, he caused Muhammad to be frightened. No angel, if you're really, really, if you're really encountering a godly thing, you would experience the peace and the joy. And okay. you would say, okay, I, 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 want, to, I, okay. I want to listen. Leave you that. You now, be scared. Since if you accept that as a narration, that's something else. Now we will we'll go to the point here. Firstly, someone who's there wondering about the existence of God, and suddenly something appears to him something appears to him. Never experienced this before, never had this before. He doesn't know what's happening. He told him, read. Someone not just only came in a light and that, that's it, filled him with joy, as you mentioned. No, he came to him with, with information. So to him, he gave him something. He said, read this, I'm not a reader. So to him, read this, I'm not a reader. And he keeps saying to him, read I'm, I'm not a reader. So of course, that's something is terrifying because he's a human being. At the end of the day, he is a human being. But he sent him the affirmation, you are the prophet of God and you are sent by God. So that gives him kind of the, the ease and the tranquility about his, his mind and heart that this something came from God and God chose him. You understand? So that's how it is. So he accepted this. Yeah? So that's why, and this narration, when he came, he was, he came, he shiv. He, listen, there are no coincidences, including that when he came down to his wife, and he was saying, cover me, cover me. And he, she gave him kind of the, you know, uh, you know, the comfort saying to him, Allah will never let you down. You are someone who have certain characteristics about him. You are someone who's truthful. You are someone who's honest. So why you are do you accept that? Why do you accept his, men, what, his revelation, what was given to show to him? But I tell you something else and you don't believe it. Firstly, you're not a prophet of God. How do you know? You're not a prophet of God. You cannot... How do you know he's a prophet of God? Okay, good. When we read the Quran, yeah, again, the, the eternal miracle of Muhammad, peace be upon him, then we'll understand it came from God. And again, I'm giving you, Quran is not science book, but it has scientific facts. Quran is not, Quran is not historical book, but has historical facts. So all of these things, prophecies in the Quran, things before it happened and it happened. And our Prophet, peace be upon him, 1400 years ago, 1400 years ago, can you imagine? At the time when the Byzantic used to rule Jerusalem and that area. And our Prophet said to us, there's gonna be a time, a time that the, the Jews are gonna be on the west side of the river and you're gonna be on the east side of the river. He said this clearly in a clear statement, 1400 years ago. And later on, the Muslims took over and took Jerusalem and they were ruling that area. So how this could happen? How, how on earth this could happen? And we are living in a time this is happening. You understand? So all of these things, this prophecy, 1400 years ago happened. Not today. We're talking about 1400 years ago. He told us. It happened a long time after it. He told us when the, when the companions, there were only few, few. Think about it. It was hard to predict that one, was it? One second. No, it was hard to predict more than this. There's more hard than this. He said, when the Arabs, they get together, all the Arabs, the only Muslims, they were in Medina, and all the Arab Peninsula, they came, all the tribes came to wipe Islam. They came to destroy Islam, to wipe Islam from earth. Yeah? 
So then one of the companions, he was, he said, let's, let's dig the, the trench, what you call the battle of the trench. So they dig a trench from the side where they used to, where the, where the Arabs used to come, where they have to come from that area. So they dig a trench and they were behind. While he was digging the trench, he hit the, with his axe the first time and he said, Allahu Akbar, Futihat Faris. But Allahu Akbar, he said, Allah is great. That, that the conquest of Persia. And then he digged more. And then, as Allah Akbar, Futihat Roma. He said, the conquest of Roman or the, Rom, the Roman Empire. The hypocrites at that time, they were saying, he said, look at Muhammad. We were taking a make of him. He said, even we are terrified to go and have a pee, to do a pee behind, to go to our, we are terrified to leave. And he is saying, you're going to conquer all of these two empires, great empire. Can you imagine someone now saying, like, for example, like, similar, even that example at that time is more. Now, even America is not that, that, that strong power. And even Russia is not that strong power compared to the Roman Empire and, uh, and the Persian Empire. And yet, he said, this will happen. And he started with the Persian Empire, and then he said about the Roman Empire. And then the hypocrites, they said, how come someone, we, we are even terrified, we are scared to, leave, to go, to leave our places, to take a pee. And then he's saying to us, the conquest of these two great empires. Empires, and there were only few people living in Medina, and threatened by the tribes of the Arab, let alone these great empires. That's why it needs faith. The, truly, the truthful companions of him, they said, if he has said so, he has said the truth. If he has said so, he said the truth. And, and soon those people, they were defeated. And, those, and then after, not in his time, at the time of, of his second, his, his Khalif, and the second Khalif after him, they conquered during the, after the Khalif, during the time of Abakir, they defeated the two way, great empires. Way, not, how, how someone will predict, predict this? Tell me. It might have been just a situation, he could just see it leading up to it. No, what leading? There is no situation. Think about it. Think about it. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? You're going, David? Yes. Okay, David. Do you, Sheikh? Have a good night. Sheikh, David. And you as well. You don't want to wait until we pray? You don't want to see us when we pray? I need to go. I am waiting. Okay. Look after yourself. Yeah, have a good week. We'll see you next week. Inshallah. We'll see you next week. When's Ramadan? Ramadan in three weeks' time. Yes. So. Do you want to fast with us, Ramadan? No. <laughs> 20 minutes, they said, can you um, leave for After 20 minutes? Anyway, I'm going to yeah. go. So listen to this, yeah, before you go. My point is, he said this, there is no other way to predict that. Can you imagine London? That's only London. And all England, and, and all England, and, uh, and, and Scotland, they are wanted to attack people of London. And we are scared just only to leave our positions, just the people of London, yeah? Let alone Medina, they were smaller than this, and the number of them, they were way, way smaller than that, yeah? We're talking about 1,000 or a couple of thousand people, that's all, yeah? And yet all the Arab Peninsula against them. And me saying, you know, we're gonna destroy Russia, and we're gonna destroy America, soon. And then I said, Look at this nonsense. We cannot even, we cannot even leave, leave the river, the river Thames here, to cross the river Thames. And yet you're talking about these things. This hypothesis, just only this, you say someone is talking, talking nonsense. How come our Prophet, in the time where the Muslims, they were weak, they couldn't even defend their own territory, and yet he's saying this will happen. And he said, by the one whose my soul is in, in his hand, this religion will enter every single house. Every single house made of food, made of bricks, made of fuel, it will enter every single house and it will penetrate every single house. He including, also said, he including, also said, including your own house where your mother accepted He also Islam. said is people, Islam will come to a point where everybody leaves it. I will, no, no, I'll tell you he what was it. That. Well, that's not the way that it was said. He said there will be a point, not leaving it, there will be a point. Islam that, will go back to how it started with nothing. Yes, basically, yes, and that's something will happen. And he said, peace be upon him, that even the people, the Muslims, the Muslims, they will die at, at certain point. The believer, the true believer, will die, and even there will be as well a time that on a, on a night that there is no single passage of the Quran will remain, no single verse of the Quran will remain on earth until an old man and old woman will say, "Our forefather used to say, La ilaha illallah." That's all, and we say those are the, the believers at that time. The one who say La ilaha illallah only, they don't know nothing, they don't know to pray, they don't know to do nothing, and this will happen. 
and then after that there will be no no single believer on earth and the day of judgment will start on a people who are the filthiest people the evil, most evil people on earth they're going to be there on that time and it will happen and he told us they described a man he's going to go to destroy mecca at certain point and he will come his name this way he described him he said he have he have this long long shanks or something like this he will go to mecca and will destroy it and will will diminish mecca the whole thing so it will happen he told us this you understand so we speak what what is in our fair we speak what's even in the if you according to the thing against our against us but yes but yet i'm inviting you christo islam don't miss the chance you are invited to islam accept islam and accept allah and accept the religion of islam and accept the prophet of allah that's my advice to you chris and i'm here sincerely genuinely wanting the guidance for you and i'm genuinely wanting the guidance for you. all what you need to do is to say to testify none worthy of worship except allah and to testify that muhammad is the messenger of allah that's all and to follow islam the guidance of islam that's what we are saying to you do you want to do that chris not today Ask Allah to guide you. That's all. Ask Allah to guide you. May Allah guide you. All right.